Hello everyone. So for today's video, I wanted to do a rant. Um, and while I do this rant, I'm going to like attempt to clean up my kitchen and uh, be sipping some tea. So last night, um, there was a company party um, for my work and we went to like this comedy club and the show is good, yada, 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 that's fine. Um, my main thing I'm going to rant about is people, especially restaurants, who don't understand vegan food. Like, it's almost 2019 and we have people out here so confused. Like, so my company told them how many people were coming and what it was is they had a buffet, but there was a couple people, like there was, um... Two people that were gluten-free going, and then there was four vegetarians, and then two vegans, me and my husband. So, the comedy club was notified in advance that in addition to the buffet, we were going to have to have, you know, like those eight extra meals um, that were like special cooked to order. And I think that they might have actually cost more because of that. But, um, anyway, so we let the place know in advance that we were coming like a month beforehand and have something vegan ready prepared yeah so we get there weren't exactly sure the whole time what we were going to be having I was like fingers crossed they don't give me a plate of asparagus and call it a day right so we get there and let me tell you, after the first time I sat down, my hopes were not very high. I sat down and they were like, do you want oil and vinegar on your salad or just salt and pepper? And I said, oh God. I was like, give me whatever you got. <laughs> I was like, I hope this isn't what I'm getting the whole night. I hope this isn't what I'm getting the whole night. Um, but I sat down, ate my salad, and then my husband, like he's, he's vegan too, but he definitely likes more of the fake meats. Um, that's not to say he doesn't like vegetables. He just generally leans towards things with fake meat included in the meal. Um, which, you know, I wasn't really expecting that going into this. I was expecting, I think I was honestly expecting like some rice or something like that. And maybe some like, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. But anyway, um, so I ate my salad. Then... It was time for the main meal and I don't think the people really were prepared because we were like oh we told the waiter we were like oh yeah we're the two vegans who you know we listed on the sheet as coming here we are you know now that people are getting their food from the buffet if you could bring our food please thanks he's like oh okay let me go tell the chef so we went back like 10 minutes later comes out with my plate not my husband's it took him another 10 minutes to get my husband's plate but that's not the gist of the story the gist of the story is this was like the worst vegan food I have ever been served in my entire life like it was I don't want to say it was worse than a salad but at least salads kind of like meet my expectations of what I plan on having for you know a vegan meal I guess I was just disappointed because like when I go to a restaurant and I know they won't have any vegan options. I'm like, okay, salad and applesauce, you know, I know that's how it's gonna be. But the fact that we told these people a month beforehand that two vegans were coming, they had a whole month to put together a halfway decent vegan meal. Let me tell you guys what we got. I wish I took a picture, okay? I got a plate with like some halfway steamed asparagus, halfway steamed green beans. Um, I think it was their like two two scoops of what I think was their version of tabula, which I've made a tabula recipe on here before. And let me just say, I greatly prefer my tabula to theirs. <laughs> tabula, tabuli, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it, but let me just say mine's better. <laughs> and their, like their tabula, if that's what it was supposed to be, it was like the cracked wheat, obviously. And then, um, I had some green onion and a little bit of parsley. Like it was mostly cracked wheat though, with like no seasonings. And then um, some chopped tomatoes, um, pickled jalapenos, sliced toasted almonds, 
and Italian dressing just all plopped onto a plate. I mean, it was pretty artfully placed, you know what I mean? Like they were trying to make it look fancy, but let me tell you, that was, it had no seasoning. The only seasoning on that shit was the Italian dressing they just kind of like threw on. And like, it, like it literally looks like they threw it together. Like they were like, oh, here's some vegetables. Let's just kind of cook them and throw them on a plate and hope that they eat it. Like, what? What, what, what? I just realized I haven't been cleaning my kitchen this whole time, but. <sighs> but yeah. So I took the salt and pepper and I was like. <laughs> just like, more salt, more pepper. Come on, gotta make this taste like something. Which I like vegetables, I really do. The asparagus was pretty okay once I put the salt and pepper on it. The green beans were kind of still tough because like I'm saying, they were like half cooked like one end was cold and the other end was warm it was really odd I like the jalapenos because I like jalapenos I like the tomatoes because I like tomatoes oh what the is on my hand can you see that I got white stuff on my hand I don't know where the hell that's from Wait. what the fuck okay anyway um and then I like the sliced almonds the sliced almonds were very good that cracked wheat, whatever it was supposed to be. I like cracked wheat. But that was supposed to be like wheat. And like, well, I, you know, I liked all the things individually on the plate. But like it was literally thrown together. They had a month, a month to come up with something. And it was just thrown on a plate with no seasoning. I asked the waiter, I was like, you got hot sauce. I was like, let me go ask. No hot sauce. And in that moment, I felt like I wanted to be Beyonce and start carrying hot sauce in my bag. Okay. I wanted to cry. I ate part of it. I didn't, I barely ate the cracked wheat. I was trying to, because I knew I was going to be drinking and I wanted to like not get drunk after two beers. But um, I tried to eat some of that nasty I ate most of the asparagus most of the asparagus with the salt and pepper I ate the jalapenos and tomatoes cause, like I said I like those things and I ate the almonds kind of because I mean they were like falling off like there was nothing holding me together um but you know I tried but we sent back like my husband ate none of it he's like this is disgusting it's like I agree I was like put some salt and pepper on it and try to get through it <laughs> And I felt super bad too because he hadn't ate all day and I'm like shit but um yeah so we sent back when we sent back those plates of food they were still like full of food and I felt awful but it was disgusting like really to all restaurants especially if you know that there's a vegan coming in advance just try that's all I'm asking just try a little harder <laughs> Just try, okay? So that's my rant for today. If you would like to see more rants, please like this video, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, what's the worst vegan meal you've ever been served. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.